and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! And you know what that means, it's time for weekly purchases. That time of the week where we investigate what came through the door via DHL, Amazon, UPS, United States Postal Service, our old friends at FedEx, and of course, that old outlaw, Waylon Jennings. It is a big week for weekly purchases with one massive grail item we'll talk about shortly. But of course, we always start weekly purchases off with a little housekeeping action. Of course, Patreon February coming to a close real quick. It is a leap year, though, so we get one extra day in February. But we are coming up quick at that. And, of course, there is a Patreon giveaway. It's going to be Batman. It's going to be Robin. It's going to be the Batmobile. Batman 66 package there. Patreon giveaway for the month of February. Check out the Patreon. Link in the description below. Best way to support the channel, as I always do say. And, of course, you can be a free member now of the Patreon. But check out all the rules and all the details on the Patreon to enter for February, and we will have a February Q&A for Patreon members over there uh, very soon. I'll film that next week, so stay tuned for that, Patreon members. And of course, a little extra housekeeping here, dangerously close, getting closer every single day. Talked about it last week, showed the first time in hand, but this is my Jax Classic Superstars book that I have completed. Will be for sale shortly, coming very, very soon. You guys know it's about as thick as a phone book right here. A lot of stuff inside here, a lot of stories about every single figure in the Jax Class Superstars line. Big, hefty, chunky book, of course. Very excited to get this out to everybody. Stay tuned, subscribe to the social media handles, all that kind of fun stuff. Of course, we'll be talking about it more and more. Stay tuned for all of that. So, exciting times ahead, as one may say. And I just said it, so there you go. But now, let's get into what the, happened this week on the channels. Of course, two YouTube channels going right now. Make sure you subscribe to both those channels. Probably going to do some giveaways around both channels. We did just recently hit 38,000 subscribers. Thank you guys on this main channel. Other channel not doing so bad either. Uh, I don't know, 4,000, getting close to 4,000, something like that. But we do, or we should do a giveaway fairly soon. So look out for that on, probably have to do it on social media, maybe Instagram or the old X out there. Going to have to figure out a way to do that one. Stay tuned to that, of course, and follow along, as I always do say. But we will do another giveaway. It's been a while. We do the monthly Patreon ones, but every once in a while we do a one that's open to everybody. We will do one of those uh, shortly. And we're on the march to 50,000. We'll do a big giveaway at 50,000. How about? So help me get there. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel. But the week that was this week, the big crown jewel I talked about, Eternia. I did unbox Eternia with the help of my wife. Put that thing together. Check out the video. Quite a fun time with Eternia. My He-Man room almost complete at this point. Waiting for a few other things. We'll do a video on that. But I've got big plans for Eternia as part of my Origins display. Much more on that very, very soon. But we also unboxed King Skull. Don't forget him. And don't forget our friend Modi, of course, from the Eternia playset. Unboxed both of those. We also unboxed the two-pack, the old V-Friends. A surprisingly fun pack. I knew it would be okay, but it was a lot funner than I anticipated it to be. That's always a good day at the old table right here, as we do talk about. Also unboxed the latest Loot Crate Fright Crate creature from the Black Lagoon. One of those ones that flew under the radar. I did unbox that this week on the channel. A surprise crate in more ways than one. Check out that video if you did miss it. Of course, talked about Jack's Class Superstars book. Our weekly Tuesday tradition for many years right now. And they will continue until the end of 2025. Can you believe that? Tuesdays with Jax, Tuesday's Jax Classic Superstars video, did that on the channel. We also finished up AEW Unmatched Series 8, ranked the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. Check that one out. Uh, we also did Dusty Rhodes Throwback Legends. Yes, WWE Mattel Legends figure did a throwback figure this week. El Desperado Times 2, the ringside collectible exclusive. Check out those unboxings on the channel. Top 10 Underbiker, Biker Taker, no matter what you call him, it is The Undertaker. We did his second Top 10. We did the Dead Man Top 10. Now we did the Biker Top 10. One of these days we'll do a complete Top 10, so stay tuned for that one eventually. 
Uh, we also unboxed one that was really interesting from Epic Toys. The two and a half year wait is over. Did mine break out of the package? Check out the review of the Epic Toys Sabu Elite style figure. It looks like he might be transitioning into a werewolf. I talked about it in that review. An interesting figure. Is it the greatest figure? By no means. Is it a top 10 figure of this year? By no means will it be. But it is interesting. It is something different. It is something to check out. So check that out if you did miss that. We did a new round of That's So Hard to Say Goodbye. It's been a while, but we had to say goodbye to something. Check out that review if you missed it. And of course, our weekly figure hunt video went to a little toy show, garage sale show, on top of all the usual suspects of the Targets, Walmarts, and toy shops. Uh, bought a few things you'll see here in this very weekly purchases. Stay tuned for that. Did the t-shirt collection and other video as we work through my closet, my whole t-shirt collection. A lot of people ask about that. Finally made a video series, a long video series. I think 15 so videos on that. I think we just launched uh, episode 9. So more to come. Patreon members, you guys have had them for a while, as you guys know. And finally, on the uh, main channel here, we did finish up with Scarlet G.I. Joe Classified Series 3. A good figure. I like that Scarlet. I really like the red hair on her. I think it did pop, and I felt like the faces worked real good. So check out that one if you missed it. And then, of course, Kyle Peterson 2.0. That pops old Todd McFarlane up out of the couch. He's always excited. We do a lot of Todd McFarlane stuff. We've moved all the McFarlane unboxings from the main channel pretty much over there with a few uh, twists and turns here and there. Uh, and a lot of turtles going on over there and a few other things. Shorts, name it. You name it over there on Kyle Peterson 2.0. Check it out. Subscribe to that channel. But this week over on Kyle Peterson 2.0... We unboxed the Gold Label DC Robin. We unboxed the Walmart exclusive Owlman. Uh, we did the Batman slash Two-Face. Batman Two-Face, we unboxed that one. Uh, we did a Toonie Terrors unboxing. Always fun to do those. Uh, Nightwing, oh, Nightwing, another all-timer. And then a Mr. Freeze Entertainment Earth exclusive. More McFarlane stuff in this week's pickups. So we'll have some more McFarlane next week on Kyle Peterson 2.0. So make sure you subscribe to both those channels right there so a busy week of course the james brown of youtube always keeping busy next week even busier i got some work travels i think i'm in cedar rapids iowa oh shout out to cedar rapids not sure what i'm gonna do out there besides present at a meeting but outside of that i'm gonna eat something i'm sure so we'll see what happens we'll see how the stores are looking uh next week and we'll have that probably in next week's figure hunt so stay tuned to that but next up we gotta turn our attention to the question of the week all right, question of the week comes from Spawn 3x5. If you want to be the question of the week, put it down in the comments right here, and you too could be question of the week next week. And this week's question, a very common one I get in person but have not got in the question of the week, Kyle, how do you keep track of your collection? And I wish there was some elaborate story that I have spreadsheets and computer programs and things like that, but it's all up in the old Rolodex. That's where I keep everything there. Uh, obviously, I can go back to my YouTube channel. I can search if I have it. I can do stuff like that. But for the most part, it is all right up here. Very, very few times in my life I've accidentally ordered something twice or bought something twice. Usually that's because I pre-order from multiple places and I forgot to cancel a pre-order. That's pretty much the only time that happens. It's happened a couple of times out there on some loose figures, especially when we were building the Jax uh, Ruthless Aggression collection. I was like, oh, do I have this cane? Do I not have this cane? Well, I'll, I'll err on the side of I don't have it and then you have it, but very rarely. And it's pretty easy because you guys know I'm a completist on this kind of stuff. Pretty much everything I collect, that's the way I go. It's a terrible curse. That's at the end of the day. But that's how I do know. It's like, hey, I'm done with this set. I'm done with LJNs. I'm not looking for any more. I'm done with Mattel Elites. As of right now, I'm not looking for any more. So it's fairly easy to keep track when you're thinking of that kind of stuff. But there's a few things I know I'm missing that are always up here. And I do got a little note, I guess, in my phone just in case I do forget. And if I draw a blank or something, there's a few items there. Oh, I got to have those. That's for sure. So nothing too elaborate, nothing too special. Pretty much just in my mind is how I keep track of my collection. And that is this question of the week. If you got to question for me and want to be the question of the week, stick it in the comments down below. Now we turn our attention to the weekly purchases. All right, time for the weekly purchases. It's going to be a fairly quick one this week, but a very interesting week, no doubt about it. Got two rounds of weekly purchases as I can't reach everything. That's the problem there. First world problems, short arm problems. I don't know about that. I have the wingspan of Wilt Chamberlain. Oh, you heard it here first, Wilt Chamberlain. But let's dive in to the weekly purchases and let's start off hot today. I had to film this late at night on Friday. Usually I film 
Friday afternoons. Instead, here we are late Friday night filming weekly purchases because I had a full day's worth of meetings today. I had some big important meetings. I'm a little tired as you guys can probably see. I'm pretty worn out from this week, but we trudge on. But today I did have a quick little break in between meetings. I said, you know what? I'm going to grab something to eat. I'm going to head over to the local Target by my office. I'm going to see what all the fuss is about. That's what I'm going to do. Well, went over there and at first I saw some serious fussing because I saw my girl Rio on the shelf. But then I looked with Rio there and you'll see it in next week's toy hunt video. Stay tuned for that. But who's chilling on the pegs? AEW Unmatched Series 8 Chase Edition CM Punk. What are we doing? I could not believe he was just chilling there on the pegs. Very shocking turn of events right there. And he was the only one from this series on the peg. So it was a very strange situation. But one I'm very happy to have found. So it's always nice to find one of these Chase Editions uh, for your collection on the pegs instead of having to pay, you know, around $100. Once the dust settles, he's around $200 now. If I was smart, I'd sell this and buy it down the road when he's around $100. Uh, but he will come down in price. They always do come down in price, as we do know. But happy to have this one on. It's always the thrill of the hunt. Always fun to find these things in the store, as you guys do know. But we're not done there. I did talk about this one a little earlier. It is the Uncensored Collection Sabu. We unboxed him on the channel this week. Check out that video if you did miss that. And then we're not done. I was on a travel, some work travels, and I found these at Walmart. Now, just saw Liv and Rhonda, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick this one up. It caught me in a weak moment. Really hoping to find that Bulldog Shawn Michaels. I do anticipate I will find that out at retail this week sometime. So on the lookout for that one, but I did pick this one up just for the heck of it. So check out that review if you uh, are into that. Should be up in the next week or so. Also got a couple of basic Lucy's. Always fun to get some Lucy's every once in a while. Bo Dallas and Mason Ryan, one of two different looks for Mason Ryan in the basic line back in the day. I think he's in like Cirque du Soleil nowadays, but I'm always picking up some of these basics every once in a blue moon. That's what I did with these two. Picked them up for a cheap price. And then we talked about that Fright Crate from NECA, the Loot Crate, Fright Crate, whatever you want to call it. I did pick up the Creature Crate this week. Got the VHS pin of the Exorcist. Does absolutely nothing for me. We did get a nice scarf, a little Ben Cooper edition scarf. I guess great for Halloween, uh, great for parties, great to look fancy with a little scarf around your neck. That was in there. But the crown jewel of it was the NECA Universal Monster translucent color creature from the Black Lagoon. This is pretty much the money out of that set. Now we've got a glow-in-the-dark one. We've got a black and white one. We've got a color one. Now we got a translucent one. Somebody want to say getting the most out of your molds. That's what we're doing here with the creature. But you guys know creature, my absolute favorite Universal Monster. Happy to get this one. Check out the unboxing on the channel this week if you did miss that. Talked about Attorney. I'm not going to bring that a big Attorney a box here, but I did get Modi's box to remind me that we unboxed Attorney this week. But that was one of the big weekly purchases. A big, big set. A big, fun set. Uh, check out the review once again if you did happen to miss that along the way. A fun one. Definitely worth checking out. Not done. Thanks to our friends over at DJC Collectibles. Hot in stock. Head over there. Use discount code ADOFDJC to save 8%. That's the code I always use for sure. But I did get the new DC McFarlane Superman from over there. Always good to get a new Superman. We'll unbox this one probably on 2.0, Todd. Oh, yeah. Todd, wiggle your toes twice if that is true. Oh, it's true. Yeah, Todd wiggles his toes a lot. It's kind of an inside joke unless you're not. If you're not watching the channel, you might not understand it. But Todd, he's wiggling those toes over there all the time. Got our boy Steel here. Don't call him Shaquille O'Neal. That's not true. But I always think of Shaq like a lot of people do. Uh, but we've got Steel, of course, from the reign of the Superman. Got to have him along the way. And then how about a little platinum version of steel? We're here for a little platinum steel at the end of the day as well. So looking good. A little McFarlane action this week here right at the table. But we weren't done. Our friends over at Entertainment Earth use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on in-stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. And they got a lot of Super 7 stuff hot off the truck. They just got G.I. Joe Classified Series 3 with Doc, Scarlet, the Cobra Trooper, and of course Storm Shadow. Also on Friday, hot off the truck, the Slayer Minotaur. Man, everybody loves a Minotaur, especially Slayer. That is up. Can't wait to get mine hopefully soon. We'll see what happens. And then, of course, they also had what I'm going to show here, hot off the truck. So if you're looking for some Super 7 stuff, Entertainment Earth's got the hook up there. Brand new Flocked Splinter, hot off the truck there. Got another one here. It is Slam Duncan Donnie. Oh, Donatello. His part-time job as a basketball player. 
We've got that one through the door. Zack the Neutrino. Zack and the Neutrino is one of my all-time least favorite cartoon characters. Right up there with a copper kid and maybe an Orko all these years later. Ah, Orko I liked as a kid, though. Uh, so we do get the neutrinos going on. We got Scumbag back when he was, or Scumbug, back when he was a male. Now he's a female these days in the Turtle universe. But he was a male at one time. We got Scumbug through the door. And then the big one, this is a massive, massive box. Wingnut and Screw Loose. So we will unbox all these on the channel. Got to figure out how I'm going to do this. Do I keep these over on 2.0? Do I carry them over? Does it even really matter at the end of the day? I don't know. Sound off in the comments. But got a lot of turtles to unbox, of course, on the channel, including some of this stuff as well. But we're not done. We got one more quick round. Round number two coming at you. All right, time for round number two of weekly purchases and a few different things this week. I did get through the mail finally. A Tale of Fire and Ice. With a little dark wolf action here. Everybody loves a wolf, especially a dark wolf. We'll unbox this on the channel this week. A very cool looking one. First saw that maybe at PowerCon. Was that where we first saw that? Could possibly be there. Not done. Over at Palmart store, they had an in-stock one. And I kind of forgot about it, but it did come through this week. Eternian Palace Guards. Taking it back to the classics. Master Universe Classics version. Uh, talk about a long game throwback unboxing to do on the channel. But we got some Palace Guards to unbox, so that's always a fun day at the office. So we got some old school Master Universe Classics for an unboxing there. But we're not done, I think. Oh, no, I got these. I did get two more of these. I talked about these about a month ago on the channel. They are step risers here from Target. Bright Room, they're called. Uh, but they're very nice risers here, very nice heavy duty, and they do pull apart like so. About $20, your mileage may vary at your Target. But I always do uh, put these on when there's a deal going on. I don't know about you guys, but my wife and her circle app, I think it is, she gets one like spend $100, get $10 off. These are the kind of things that help you get to that $100. I'm going to buy them anyways, so I get some money off them. Hey, even better. And that's what I did. I got two more of these this week. I got like seven more to get, just slowly piecing those together as I do need them. So a bright room, Target, check those out if you do need them. And then finally, I did talk about that old garage show with good friend of the channel, David C. Anderson. We hit that one up a while back, and I finally did release the video here. But I did start a new collection, a collection I never thought I'd start, but the deal was so good, and it was just missing a couple of figures. I said, you know what? I'm pulling the trigger. I'm going to get this done. They feel like they're almost like OSFTM style rubber ones, or our friends LJNs, close enough to be dangerous. But it is the vibrating wrestlers from Nitro, the WCW Monday Nitro line. We got the old Big Show himself, the Giant, looking good there. We got our old friend, Chris Benoit. Whatever happened to that guy? I don't know. Chris Benoit looking good right here. And the hits keep on continuing with Kevin Nash. How about Kevin Nash? And then we got another Kevin, Kevin Sullivan, the old Taskmaster himself. We do got a man called Sting. Yes, that's what they call him. They call him Sting. And then we got Lex Luger, of course, right here. So I do have Scott Hall coming in the mail. The only one I am missing is, I believe, is it the Hulkster? I think I'm missing the Hulkster. And there's a two-pack of Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. I think that's all I am missing. So I will track those down eventually. One of those long game collections as I work my way through. And something we'll probably end up unboxing on the channel. That's probably my plan. So look for this maybe on Kyle Peterson 2.0 in the near future. So an interesting, varied weekly purchases this week. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit slow time in the collector circles. No Legends collection sets coming out. No real wrestling sets coming out uh, this week or the end of last week. So we're just kind of playing a little of that waiting game. So we'll see what happens next week. Next week could be a quiet weekly purchases. You just never know until you get there, I guess. And that's what, exactly what we're going to do. But what did you pick up this week? Anything out there on the hunt for you? Did you find anything? good let me know your thoughts in the comments down below of course you got a question put it down there to be question of the week next week in weekly purchases and of course don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell follow me along on social media sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and on instagram and don't forget about patreon for the giveaway this month your best way to support the channel as you know as well and you can also support the channel at pressing tees Dot com. So you know what I'm doing? I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling my way into another work week.